guys! Today I am going to be doing my birthday look. I have my birthday this weekend and on Saturday I'm actually gonna go out with friends, uh, have a little bit of a boogie. My look that I'm doing right now is a practice run for the night. I just thought, you know, why not get ready with you guys, show you what I'm gonna be wearing and then I can get your feedback on it as well. This is Lucas Paw Paw ointment and this is the best stuff ever. It cures anything from dry lips to rashes to helping ease bite. I even put this on my butt one time because I was camping and I got like the worst chafage ever. A lot of you guys were saying that all of MAC products are tested on animals. I decided to do a little bit of research and I could be wrong. Do correct me if I'm wrong in the comments because I actually found this really interesting. MAC apparently doesn't actually test on animals. It's more they're forced to because if you want to sell cosmetics to the Chinese market, their laws in their country require the makeup to be tested on animals first. So I don't know, I think I might try some other foundations. If you guys know of any, could you just let me know in the comments down below? Anyhow, yeah, when I put foundation on, I just splatter it all over my face because... I don't want to spend money on brushes. I already spent enough money on the makeup as it is. This morning I went to my favorite gym class ever. I've been going to these classes twice a week, every week, and it's called Body Attack by Les Mills. Oh, damn it, you guys said to use this finger under my eyes because apparently the under eye area is very sensitive. I'm loving uh, this Body Attack class, it is so good. And if you guys particularly like dancing or kind of aerobics, um, and also like working at your own pace. It's a really great class because you push yourself as much as you want to and there's lots of different levels of which you can train at. I'm going to use this banana color under my eyes because it, I assume it counteracts the blue under your eyes that causes you to have uh, dark circles, which I don't want on my birthday. I want to look fresh faced like a baby. Not really like a baby, that's kind of weird. If you're into guys, do you guys like baby face boys? So funny, one of my girlfriends, she, her last two boyfriends have both been baby face boys and I always make jokes with her that she loves baby face boys and she's like, shut up, you like macho men. And I was like, yeah, I just love a good pair of shoulders. I have pretty broad shoulders, so maybe I just want to have something that matches up to my strength and buffness. I'm not sure what cocktails to make. I'm having friends over before we go out and I was thinking of making espresso martinis. Everyone is having espresso martinis. It's like the cocktail of this age. My drink of choice is gin and tonic because I like that it's not all sugary and sweet. It's just nice and refreshing and you do get some tonic water to keep hydrated in it. I absolutely hate any energy drinks that are mixed with alcohol. Ugh. I used to go like that and in the comments on my last Get Ready With Me videos, you're, you guys were like, no, Deli, don't do that. So now I come down and this one is very, very strong. So I'm just gonna put a dash on. Ooh, I've got cheekbones. Look at those little, little pump cheeks. The other thing I've been using is this NARS stick. On camera, if you're taking a lot of photos, if you're filming or recording, this is simply amazing. I wear this on all of my streams and it, it just makes your cheeks go vavum. Because I will be going out at night time, I think before I go out, I'm just gonna put a bit of this on. And it's also really nice if you just put it on your, on your lip kiss here. I don't know if that's what you call it, but I like to call that a lip kiss because it's a bit that you kiss with. I don't wanna do that yet because I got something new. I got this Cha Cha Tint from Benefit. I hadn't researched this, I hadn't looked it up, but I loved the packaging and how it looks like a nail polish. I actually thought it was a nail polish and I was like, oh, what, what nail polish is this to the store assistant? And he's like, that's not nail polish, sweetie. So this is really nice. I think this looks really natural. This is how I put this on. I've never seen a review of this, but this is what I do. So, <laughs> so I put three spots on like that and work very quickly because this stuff stains like and it's just very subtle and I don't know, I think that looks so natural. And I put a little bit on my nose because if you get sun kissed, you always get it a bit on your nose. You never just get, a, get it on your cheeks unless 
it just flushed. I'm really excited. The dress that I bought, it's actually from an Australian label and it's a little bit quirky, um, but it's quite flattering and it's silk, so it's really comfortable. Oh wow, this gel is so old. This is disgusting actually. Okay, if my girlfriend Jasmine watches this, I'm really sorry, but this beautiful palette you bought me from NARS, what a beautiful gift. I've never really used, because I don't know how to use it. This brush is $3 from Kmart, and it was a four pack bargain. My friend Jasmine always talks about like cutting the crease. I think she's just like, cut the crease, cut the crease. I'm like, how do I cut my crease? When you are in doubt, blend. I think I'll have gin and tonic drinks here. Oh my gosh, I actually have little lolly bags for before we go out. They're Barbie lolly bags and they have little Barbie goodies in them, like little kids bracelets and stuff, which I thought would be kind of funny. Well, the lashes should look a lot nicer once they're done because I've still got a few lashes from the last time I went still in. And I happen to rub my eyes a lot, so uh, my lashes fall out very quickly because I rub my eyes all the time. I sleep on my face. I do basically everything you're not meant to do when you have your lashes done. This I'm pretty excited about. It's a MAC Cream Sheen Glass Lip Gloss and it came from a new range MAC has out called Pink, it's a pink flamingo. But the pictures have flamingos all over them and it, I just got really excited because it looked so girly and the blushes look amazing. Um, I felt like they weren't right for a darker skin tone though, or olive skin tone for me. Um, I think you'd either have to be quite dark to pull them off, to pull off the contrast, or quite pale. Uh, I think these lips go with the eyes, so I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna try this MAC one. This is Twig. Oh, I just realized I've got a lot of MAC. You may have to test on animals. Now I'm gonna have to buy all new stuff. Damn, girl. Yes, honey. We'll see what it looks like with the dress on. And this is a good thing about practicing before the night because you can end up with changing your whole look. Also, if you guys have been asking what I use for my skin, I've grown up with really bad skin. I've had a lot of pimples growing up. The only other thing I do, other than just washing my face and trying to change my pillowcases as much as I can, um, is I got this just from the supermarket or grocery store, if you're American. That was a terrible American accent. But it's just Olay moisturizing cream for sensitive skin. My mum gets this and it's really not that expensive. It lasts ages and it's a really, really good moisturizer. Made in Thailand. Batch number MFG. I hate to break it to you, but that is not a number. That is actually in letters, so. I think what I would like to do with my hair is actually have it blow dried, but I don't have a hair dryer because when I moved, I realized I could not use my sisters anymore. Either try to volumize it up here with a bit of teasing so it's voluminous and curve it around my face, or we could put in a few kicks and just voluminize, 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 voluminous, voluminous. Luminous. I don't know. I'm gonna go get some stuff though. Now she's bringing the big guns out. Check out this. 25% extra free hair lacquer from Goldwell. Nice. You know what the worst thing is when you eat vitamin C after brushing your teeth? really frustrating at the gym when people don't stay in their area of the class like when you have to move around in the class they bump into you that's so annoying can you please not be that person there there's a scene where Regina George is sitting in her car and she goes to Katie Get in, loser, we're going shopping. Her hair looks amazing there. And I've realized it's partly 
because they've gone like this and teased this bit so it comes away from her head and I just really like that. And there we go, there we have it. Short hair, don't care, it's looking nice. It's got volume and I can tell you right now, if you teach your hair, it's gonna stay nice enough the whole night. Let's do more Regina George right here. Okay, well, I'm now going to put on my outfit and show you guys the final look.